Hey everybody, Brooks from Drag Times here. Today, I just got the software update or notification for my Tesla Model 3 that enables the autopilot on city streets beta. So I saw a couple of preview videos of this. I've been super excited to get this. Uh, here's the Tesla Model 3, of course. If you didn't see the last video, we just dropped it on the Ibox Springs with some sway bars. Looks really nice. The fitment is just awesome. But more about that later. Let's jump in the car and give this new update a test. And let's see how the car does reacting to stop signs and stop lights on autopilot through the city. So let's jump in and uh, give this thing a first test, see how it goes. All right, so here we go. Here are the release notes for the traffic light and stop sign control beta. Designed to recognize, respond to traffic lights and stop signs, slowing your car to a stop when using traffic, aware of cruise control or auto steer. This feature will slow the car for all detected traffic lights, including green, blinking yellow, and off lights. To continue, oh, so instructions continue to push through the stop sign, push the gear selector, briefly press the accelerator pedal, that it's safe to proceed. So you still have to interact every time. This might be a little bit of a pain. All right, so here we go. I got autopilot on, and I'm not actually sure. I didn't read the directions too carefully, but I'm not sure if I have to actually have a destination set in this cruise control for this to work, or if it's just gonna work whenever I have auto steer on. So I'm gonna give it a quick test coming up here. This view I'm keeping here so you can see what's happening here. I'll be able to zoom in and show you what it sees, what the car sees, as well as you can see the environment in front of us here. All right, so I'm coming up to a light right now. I'm gonna put auto steer on. It's drawing a line here to show the light is red and a red bar across here. Uh, but I don't have navigation. It says autopilot unable to proceed. Please take over. Okay, so light is green now. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna actually put a destination in here and see uh, what happens. Put autopilot on. I'm going to uh, put up my energy graph here. Let's see what happens now. There's a flashing light. It did pick up over there and it actually slowed down for that flashing warning. There's a horse passage or something right there. Now one interesting note, I can't increase the speed past the speed limit. So, or 45 miles an hour. Maybe that's what it's restricted to. I think the speed limit on the streets actually faster. So it's slowing down a little bit because there's a bicycle bicyclist on the road right here. I'm being very careful here. It didn't even pick him up on the autopilot. I didn't see, oh, I saw a little picture of a bike there, but that was after he was already gone. <clears throat> so, but 45, I can't go faster than that. I'm not even sure if that's the speed limit on this road or not. But nevertheless, I'm supposed to be turning up here and it's not gonna turn. So it does tell me traffic control in 400 feet. So it slowed down there for no reason at all. That is bad. Okay. So wanted to slow down for there. There was no stop sign and no traffic light at all there, but it slowed down. All right. So, okay. So there, I see how it works. Okay. So traffic light was there. It told me it was there, but in order to go past the green, I actually have to hit the accelerator tap on it or hit the cruise control uh, to confirm that I want to go through that. So let's see if we can find a red light and see, watch it stop at a red light with no one in front of me and see what happens. All right, so back on autopilot, uh, I'm gonna hit left turn signal. It moves over a lane in city traffic. You can see it right there. Now it's gonna see a traffic control light coming up. It's green, stopping in 500 feet. Use accelerator to continue. So I'm just going to hit that button then it eliminates the notification and it will continue through the light. So it says stopping control in 500 feet, but this is just an intersection. There's nothing to stop for. So that was 
I don't know why I wanted to stop there. So my first reaction is not to press the accelerator pedal. It's actually to is actually hit the brake and disable autopilot. I got to kind of get used to like using the um, accelerator or the cruise control to confirm that I want to go through it. I got to say, this is really, really annoying that it's only letting me go 45 miles an hour because I'm going to get lapped here. I mean, no one's going 45. So before, I could definitely go faster on this road using autopilot. All right, so we got a green light coming up. And I'm going to tap the accelerator. Boom, it's just going to run. It's going to go through the light. I'm getting used to it now. I see how it works. Uh, now it's stopping in two. Oh, darn, it did it again. Hit the brakes. I can't put it back on. Look at these couple of green, ugly Porsches right here. Man, that is just a terrible thing terrible color so here we got a turn stopping for traffic control device in 100 feet stops and makes me take over all right it's another stop sign stopping in 50 feet draws the line stops i mean now i want to go left all right okay all right all right autopilot unable to proceed All right, so here we go. We got a stop sign straight ahead. Let's see what it says. Stopping for traffic control in 500 feet. And I guess you got to be pretty careful. You don't want to... Actually, it didn't give me the option to proceed. Even if I tap the gas, it still stops at the stop sign. That's a good point. Now it says unable to proceed. Please take over. So there you go. All right, so here we go. Traffic tap the accelerator continue through it got it let's do it again green light let's see if I can get it right this time it wants to stop I tap on the accelerator confirm to go through the green light all good there so now I got the green with the green arrow to the right stopping for control in 400 feet now it's got a green and a red. It doesn't know what to do because it's green and red at the same time. So it just stops. And then I hit go and it's going to... Oh, it tried to make the turn to the right on the red. But it got halfway through the turn and just said forget it. All right, here's another. This is just the regular stop, which it's always done because there's a car in front of me. But it still sees the traffic control. So I can't... So it won't go through red even if I tap on the accelerator. It's still, it's still stopping the car. All right, here we go. So you can see the cars. It's got the red light. 50 feet stopping. I got to confirm again, even though it already saw it. It should have just known to continue. So if I'm stopped at a red light and it turns green, I shouldn't have to confirm again. It should just go. So roundabout on autopilot, it was just going to barrel through that. <laughs> yeah, that was sketchy. All right, up here we have some kind of winding roads. This was always a challenge on my Autopilot 1 car, but much, much better in the 3. It actually slows down for the corner here, which is nice. Slows down to 40, makes this turn really well. I always keep my hand close here just in case, because we got oncoming traffic. It reduces the speed, takes this corner really nicely. Little hesitation there. Picks up speed again. Pulls to the left. Did that really good. All right, so here's a decent test. There's a stop sign up here. Um, 
which it's going to need to go straight for. I don't want to curb my wheel, so it's better do good. No, it's just, so it sees a stop sign in 300 feet. Let's watch it stop here. Oh, I just blew the stop sign. All right. <laughs> that was weird. It saw the stop sign, but just blew right by it and wanted to stop like 15 feet past it, actually. All right, so there you go. That's a wrap of my first test with the new uh, stop light and stop sign controls city driving with autopilot. There's definitely some circumstances where it's going to be useful when you're just going straight uh, and there's a bunch of stop signs or stop lights and you can leave autopilot on. It'll stop if there's a car in front of you. It won't blow by a stoplight if it's red. Um, it will take some getting used to. you got to remember to uh, hit the accelerator. For some reason, I kept wanting to hit the brake. I felt like uh, the car was warning me to take over. That's what I'm used to on autopilot, where I just hit the brakes and take over instead of confirming that I wanted to proceed. So obviously, incremental changes with the Tesla. they got to go step by step. Probably the next steps are maybe navigate on autopilot on city streets where it would actually start uh, making some turns in the city streets. You can see in that vi in the video earlier, I came up to a stop sign. It had a green arrow and a red, uh, which the car wasn't sure what to do. Uh, I'm not actually sure what to do in that situation either, because if it's red, you stop and then go, but you can normally go make a right turn on red anyways after you stop. So that's that was a confusing traffic light even for me. So if someone knows the traffic rules better, what do you do if it's a red light with the green area? Can you just blow past that? Either way, the car tried to start to make that right turn and then just freaked out and asked me to take over. So interesting scenario right there. Um, other than that, uh, it's awesome to, to get this full self-driving closer and closer to reality. And I'm going to toy with this some more in some different scenarios. But I think I've gone through basically what Tesla is saying it can do is, you know, stop for stop signs, go through them stop at the traffic controls but it's definitely asking you a lot and in some cases there wasn't even a traffic control device uh but it came up to an intersection and it wanted to stop anyways so there you go hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the subscribe button hit the thumbs up and uh we'll keep the videos coming thanks for watching